Turning to local news now, they went dressed as police, knocking on doors tonight. But they're not asking for candy. Instead, they're looking for registered sex offenders. Authorities making sure the offenders aren't breaking the law this Halloween night. NBC 26's Shane Gustafson is live in studio. And Shane, what are the police looking for? Yeah, well, John, we followed Green Bay police as they went to several houses in the area tonight. They're making sure sex offenders don't make themselves appealing to kids who might be trick or treating, meaning no decorations and porch lights have to be turned off. It's the knock on the door. Most people don't expect on Halloween. They have a list of rules and they've been contacted by probation and parole of the things they can and can't do. Green Bay Police and the Department of Corrections checking in on randomly selected sex offenders in the area who might be breaking those rules. It could be as simple as wearing a costume or as serious as handing out candy to kids. Uh, it makes me feel good that we're, we're keeping the kids safe. It kind of makes me sad that this is necessary. But the random checks do help. The Department of Corrections told us last week there were only 29 violations in the state in 2016. Majority of them were curfew violations, individuals not being home during the required time or not arriving home when they were supposed to be or leaving too early. The element of surprise plays a key role. We go through a list, we identify those that, that are the higher risk, and those are the ones that we try to, to do the home compliance checks on. I mean, they know we're coming at some point. So it, if they want to do anything wrong, they could be running the gauntlet. We could show up at any time. Police say the checks are worth it to make sure each kid stays safe. It's nice to see the kids out having fun. Now, if sex offenders are caught breaking the Halloween laws, they'll likely go to jail. But the Department of Corrections says it's handled on a case-by-case -case basis. Keeping you connected, Shane Gustafson, NBC 26. Shane, thank you.